hello and welcome back to my channel and of course my kitchen today we are making a delicious and aromatic dish straight from west africa the smoky beef jollof rice the ingredients are shown here and will be listed in the description box before we get started please do subscribe to this channel these are affordable and readily available ingredients and you can make this delicious meal any time of the day. First, let's start by seasoning the beef with some powdered spices. That's ginger, white pepper, powdered garlic, black pepper, and some salt. And then we mix them together and marinate to infuse the flavor deep into the meat next we dice the ginger garlic some chopped onions and pepper for some heat and then we blend these together this will add a wonderful depth of flavor to our jollof rice in a medium heated pan Add some oil and then your chopped onions and some tomato paste. Allow to fry while building the aroma and then add the remaining parts of the chopped tomatoes. Have you tried any African food or have you tried this recipe before? Let me know in the comment section. It's time to add in our spices. We are using a combination of bouillon cube, paprika, thyme, and a hint of curry for some added flavor. Once the spices are fragrant, we will add in the blended mix. This will create a rich and flavorful base for our jollof rice. The aroma here is really amazing. <laughs> we will then allow our stew to simmer while stirring intermittently to ensure the stew is cooking well without burning now we will add some salt and stir in our rice and some water the water should be the same proportion of the rice or even lesser making sure everything is well combined Cover with aluminium foil to trap heat which will eventually cook the rice. We will let our jollof rice simmer away, allowing all those flavors to melt together and the rice to absorb the delicious broth. Next, in the hot pan, we are going to sear our beef until it is nice and brown. This step adds that smoky flavor that takes the dish to the next level. Start without adding any oil so that the meat can release its own juices. When all the juices from the beef is dried up, add olive oil to kind of fry the beef. Once our beef is nicely seared, we will add it to the jollof, mixing them together and letting them cook down until they are soft and fragrant. Just look at the texture, the color, the flavor. Hmm, it's amazing. And there you have it, smoky beef jollof rice, a perfect balance of flavors with a delightful smoky twist. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more delicious recipe. Until next time, happy cooking. Peace bye. Choose.